Today, we are going to be building a voice agent on 11 labs that walks a customer through a list of questions as a survey and saves their responses as semi-structured data that you can use to do things like calculate your net promoter score while also getting the depth of a conversation by interviewing your customer. Say goodbye to creating and filling out these forms on Google Forms. The future feels a lot more like creating an 11 Labs voice widget on your website and sharing that with your customer. We will remix a voice survey tool on buildship.tools. And in about 15 minutes, you should be set up with a fully functional, customized survey agent ready to go out to your customers. All right, let's dive in. So I'm going to start with this voice survey, the 11 Labs template on buildship.tools. You can search for that here with typing voice, clicking on voice survey via 11 labs. You can see some example inputs and outputs from the tool or any other tool you select. So let's click remix, we'll add it to my project. And we have the pre-configured tool. So most everything you need is here. There's a couple steps to get started. You have to create the Google sheet. So there's a sheet template that we've created for you. Um, which is basically a list of questions and then a sheet also with the responses where the responses are going to go. We can just make a copy, call it demo voice survey and save it. We have our Google sheet with the questions and responses. We have pre-populated these five questions here. The first one's trying to get the net promoter score along with some color. So instead of just a form with enter zero to 10, you're able to get them to estimate a number and or tell you why they would recommend BuildShip to a friend or colleague. So this is moving into the age of semi-structured data where you're able to get the structured data if you need to for, for a chart or a graph or something explainable. Um, but you also have a kind of the qualitative input that helps you actually take action on that number. You can change these questions to anything you want. Um, currently, they're static questions. The AI is just going to go through one by one. You could always have it generate the next question for a user based on their last question. That would be great for the interview use case, for example. Let's click into share and just copy the link back in build ship, replace the link to the Google sheet here as a sheet URL with your sheet URL. You can change the sheet names if you want to. They're currently questions and responses. And then you just need to click the thumbprint and log in with the account where you set up that Google sheet. So what's happening in this flow is we're taking in the current question number, the answer that we want saved to the Google sheet, and then a conversation ID that will identify the user. We get the list of questions from the Google Sheet. All of the questions have been answered. And if not, then we get the current question and submit the answer for that question. And then we get the next question and return that to the agent. Log in again here, and we should be ready to go. Let's click test. These should be pre-populated. You can change them if you want. Just test it, make sure it's working. We get the next question details. We moved on from question one to question two. And we got the question text, which is returned to the agent to work. with. If we come back into our demo voice server and click on the responses, we got our test responses. So we should be all set to go. So now let's connect this to the 11 Labs voice agent. Just click ship, go to the connect tab. And now your tool is ready to use with any agent. So this doesn't have to be a voice agent. You can do this with MCP or any other agent. We're going to do this with 11 Labs. And we have the whole setup guide here on the right. So let's follow. Open the 11 Labs voice agent dashboard. We'll come to agents, click on new agent. We'll name it. We can do a blank template. Create. We can select the language, add some additional ones. Let's do this in English. We can say the first message is ready for your survey. We can set up our agent with whatever system prompt or first message. I hope you get a little more creative than I did. Back in build ship. Now that we set up our agent, let's create our new tool. Come scroll down to the bottom and click the add tool button with custom tool. Copy the name to this box. Copy the description. And we'll take the post URL, select post, paste in the URL. And here we can increase the response timeout. So if we expect that this API is going to take a long time, we can ask 11 labs to wait up to two minutes, which is pretty good. Um, so you can imagine if you are looking into your knowledge base to answer a question or respond to the customer, you might want to have a longer time. I believe we should be okay with the 20 seconds for now. Let's generate an API key, copy the name, come into headers, add the name. We'll take the API key itself, switch this to value type and enter the value. In. You could also add this as a secret uh, within 11 labs here. 
we're just going to add it here because we're the only ones looking at it. And then we will enable the body parameters. Add a property. This one's a number, identifier, come get the description, paste it in. Add a property and do that for each of these other variables taken care for the data type as specified here. Paste these in. This is something that very soon it feels like AI is going to be able to do this handoff itself and we will work on that for you. No descriptions provided. We'll just say for the overall description, we copy this and paste that into the description of the body parameters. Come down click add tool. Looks like this is looking for camel case. We'll do that. And click save, test the agent. Click on call here. Ready for your survey? Let's go. Okay, let's start the survey. What is your answer to question number one? What is question number one? I can't display the question to you directly. However, to proceed, I need you to answer the current question, which is question number one. Well, it looks like it's not getting the right information. So let's see if it's calling the tool. We can come into our call history, the overview, and we can see that we never actually called this tool. Come back into agents and let's say within the instructions, always call the voice survey tool. So we can add a little bit more instructions to specifically use the tool as soon as you start the call and ask the user the questions as provided. Always save the response to the question. Once you're satisfied, they've answered it fully. Sometimes you just have to be very specific with these voice agents for now. Click save and let's try again. Ready for your survey? Yes. On a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend BuildShip to a friend or colleague who does similar development work and why? Let's say a 10. I think it's really an interesting tool to use right now. It lets you piece together different agentic tools and build an in infrastructure for an AI native product. Tell me about what first brought you to BuildShip and your first successful project with it. What problem were you trying to solve? And what did you build that made you think this actually works? I was building a Telegram bot that let me speak with the gardeners on my farm who speak different languages um, and it let us communicate in a way that we never were able to before. So we built a uh, translator telegram app that we use to collect data from the farm. What are you using BuildShip for most often? So I've ended the call here and we see that the conversation ID with the questions and the user responses have been aggregated here. So a couple things to know, this has gotten the like unstructured input we could do things like in BuildShip, make sure that we are processing the user response into the actual number. Um, that's something we can add on top if we have specific outputs that we need to be able to use in other parts of our uh, flow. But for us, this is going to be extremely helpful because we can take the questions and the user responses and create a report just by getting the values in this sheet and running it through a tool like BuildShip or giving it to Claude uh, to understand what's ha actually happening in our service. So congratulations, you have a working voice agent that you can now send to your customers. How do you send it? If you go to your survey agent, click on widget, 11 Labs has this nifty little uh, widget that you can very easily embed in whatever website or application that you are using. So really all we need to do is copy this and you can hand it to Cursor or Bolt or whichever service you're using to build out your code base. I like the idea of handing my customers a website. So I'll just say, Let's ask it to create a simple website with this widget in the corner. We paste the widget at the bottom here, asking people to use it to complete their build chip survey and Bolt will use it. Now we let Bolt do its thing. So Bolt has built us our website. We'll click start survey. It didn't really understand that it needs to use that widget somehow, but that's okay. We just try again. It's telling me that it's working. So I'm just going to clarify that it's not. So we could always work on the interface. Now we have this handy dandy widget here at the bottom of the website. We start a call. Ready for your survey? Let's go. Okay, let's start with the first question. On a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend BuildShip to a friend or colleague who does similar development work and why? Let's go with 11. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, the scale is from zero to 10. Could you please provide a number within that range? Also, can you explain why you chose that number? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sticking to 11, so you better put that in there. Um, yeah, just take the number. I understand that you want me to put 11, but since the scale is 0 to 10, could you tell me the reason for that score, even if it's outside the scale? Um, it's a great product. I feel like there are a lot of immediate use cases that kind of are very simple to get immediate value out of. 
to connect different AI agents and tools and let us really take advantage of what AI can do, the kind of new AI primitives. Thanks for that feedback. The next question is, tell me about what first brought you to BuildShip and, and your first successful project with it. What problem were you trying to solve? And what did you build that made you think this actually works? Okay, so we'll stop here. So now all that's left, you can beautify this page a little bit with a simple prompt, or you can click deploy and start getting this out to your users today. So in literally 15 minutes, you can go from the tool template on buildship.tools, remix here, configure the tool itself within buildship by setting up your Google sheet and adding your authorization, modifying your questions in the Google sheet, configuring your agent and adding the voice survey tool, and then shipping the 11 labs voice agent, wherever you are going to be interacting with your customers. Once you have gotten this out to as many of the users as you see fit, you can take these semi-structured user responses. Uh, remember, you can always adjust the build ship tool itself to extract more structured data by adding things like the JSON generator node from OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSea, Grok, all of the supported models and more, or configuring this to send an email with the survey to your top customers in your CRM and automating this, that process of engaging with them with some sort of reward for participating. So the possibility is really endless. This first survey is simple, question by question, meant to get net promoter score and some other useful information. You can imagine us using this for interviewing candidates. We could use it for onboarding, having users, instead of submitting their last answer, also submitting evidence that they completed an onboarding step or a compliance step. It really feels like interacting with these agents and step-by-step -step processes is how many different tasks will be completed in the future. So what will you build? Go to buildship.tools and find the voice survey via 11labs templates today.